battle that I can. I was hoping to use them for some easy experience, because their attacks aren't really anything to write home about. Guys like these I can take on. I'll actually use this to try to get a little bit of healing. Okay. I'll turn the game volume down a little bit more. I turned it I turned it down about ten more percent, so let me know if that's um, a little bit better. Okay. Odd noises sneaking through again. I'm sorry if that's uh, if that's happening again. I'm pretty sure it's just my hardware. It's just my microphone, which is pretty junky. And actually, you know, I considered um, I considered warping out of here after um, going through the the tower and clearing out the treasures in the tower. Whoops. And saving. But I, I thought, no, I won't get wiped out. But maybe I'll do that now, because you can climb up the tower so much more quickly if you've already got the treasures. So maybe I'll do that after this. I'm sorry if um, strange noises are coming through again. I did turn on the, uh, the noise gate on my mic. So hopefully when it when I'm not talking, um, the mic will act, should actually turn off, so that um, any any weird echoey things will will stop at least if they echo too long after I'm done speaking. Okay, so this is similar to a battle I got into before. I don't know if it was an ambush, but it was the same enemy group. This is the exact same enemy group. But yeah, I think I will, um, after this, I will, I'll grab the treasures, warp back out and save, and then, and then run back up quickly. Okay, seems better than yesterday. I, I adjusted a couple of, of things on my settings, hoping to get rid of some of it, but I'm pretty sure most of the problem, uh, is my mic, and I'm just, I'm trying to minimize the problems that are coming from my mic, um, with my settings, but... I believe FF3 probably taught Ark to um, save often <laughs> and not uh, <laughs> not assume that you're going to get all the way through a dungeon in one go just because you know what you're doing. <laughs> that's going to be that's my guess. Yeah, dungeon in two goes. Yeah, because here I am, here I am, I'm gaining the same levels again, and fighting the same stuff again. Not as exciting. So I think I will do that this time, because it is a lot quicker, especially the Mirage Tower. Uh, is a lot, a lot quicker if you're not grabbing the, the chests. So if, if anything weird does happen again in the, um in the Sky Palace. I can always just start over, run back up the tower quickly, and not have to worry about grabbing the dragon armor. So I'll do that. I know it's going to extend my time a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, is the Crystal Tower that the, the last dungeon where you have to go through two long, um, two long areas before you can heal up? Oops, I should have used the gauntlet, not the, not the mage. Ah, oh, they're draining my my efforts. Yeah, I, I meant to use the gauntlets rather than the mage staff there, but yeah, these guys with their their flame attacks to my unprotected characters. All right, so I'll grab everything here. Then I'll warp out, um, heal up, Thor hammer. Alright, 
All right, grab that one. See, I'll take I'll take battles with these guys. I don't mind the vampires. But getting nuked there was uh, was something else. I'll have to I'll make a highlight of that one because that was really that really surprised me. Right, here's the Sunblade. And then I'll have the Dragon Armor after that. Oops, already got that one. Tattoo Vampires! Ha 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 ha. Yes, I got nuked by the Evil Men. Yes, I did not know that they had that in their um, ability table. But sure enough, they did have that in their ability table. So they, they smoked me. So now I'm going to do the, um, the loser's way out of here and go back out and save. So now if I get knocked out by something like that again, I will, I'll be able to just run up the Mirage Tower quickly, although it might not happen again. But the Mirage Tower is so quick to do. And I could use a little bit of extra experience that I'm getting this way. I know I'm kind of like sneaky, sneaky grinding here, I guess you would call it, but... I'd rather not gain the same levels over and over. Yeah, I will I will highlight it, so if you want to see that again, it, it uh... I was speechless afterwards. It, it really took the words right out of my mouth. I didn't know what to say. But at first I didn't know what it was because um, it's translated in this one as flare. Nuke is translated as flare, and I didn't I didn't realize it took me a minute to figure out that that it was flare because I'd already got the dragon armor and uh, and all that, so I already knew. And they had XXX is after nuke for them. Wow. Yeah, so still no. <laughs> I got wrecked. Yeah, I did get wrecked. Um, I'm glad we can all laugh about it now. I mean, it's not like it lost me any serious time or anything. I, I had saved right outside the Mirage Tower. It just meant I had to grab all the treasures in the Mirage Tower again. It wasn't like I lost serious time. It wasn't a speed run or anything. So I was good there. Okay, so Flare is how they usually rename Nuke. Yeah, I mean, it took me a second. I was like, what's a, what's a big non-elemental spell? Um, and then yeah, I kind of thought... Nuke about the same time that uh, I think Ark mentioned it was Nuke. Um, I don't I don't know what Flare is on the um, in the FF2 SNES one. I'm not sure how they translated that. Okay, evil man can do X for void. Okay, and then and then a nuke to to get your to get your your hit points down. But see, like for me, they yeah, because yeah, for me, um, it wasn't a it wasn't a back attack or anything. But, um, yeah, I was just fighting. I think I, I fought a group of five of them, and I, I beat three of them in one round. In the second round, I think I killed one more. I, I'll have to watch the video to see what order things happened, because I wasn't really watching. I was kind of watching the chat. After I input my commands, I was just looking at the chat, and then I looked up and see my guys were just dying. And the Black Mage survived the nuke with 20 hit points left, and I tried to run, because I would have just warped out um, with the Black Mage. I think he has enough hit points to, uh, to just warp out. Here's another ambush from these guys. Yikes. Yeah, it was one lone evil man. Evil Manu. Evil Manu. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can say that in a way that wouldn't sound, um, insensitive. 
We want to be we want to be culturally sensitive here on Twitch, if we can. Oh, one just hit me for 52. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess I I I wasn't really paying much attention to the battle, so. Yeah, I know, you're not being polite. That's right. We gotta be nice. It's the internet. <laughs> Respect me! I have to try not to yell with my microphone or, or we'll get major feedback. Otherwise, I would give that Respect Me a proper yell. But you would get a, a hissing, high-pitched feedback if I were to yell. Anything, all caps. Here's this battle again, so I'm wondering if this is a result, and maybe you guys can tell me, of the of the increased RNG, because this is three times I've gotten the same encounter, the ambushed hellhound. Maybe you guys can um, tell me, can advise me on that, if that's a result of this increased RNG, because Sand, Sandbag X, I think you know the... Um, the encounter table. You probably wouldn't see three battles like this in such short succession. Hello, 810K2. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. I am on my second attempt at the Mirage Tower Sky Palace after getting totally wiped out by a nuke spell from the evil bad man, evil man. I can't remember which is uh, which. It's the Black Knight in this one. Okay, and they have high probability of ambush. Okay, so I might. I'm not crazy then. There's a common encounter with the high, so they're like those shadow battles that, that have a lot of ambushes. Oops. That's right, I need to go around this way. Okay, Death Knight is Evil Man. Okay. Yeah, shadows, shadows are tough. So 810K2, you've you've been playing uh, just the the NES version. I got owned by Ric Flair, Nature Boy Ric Flair. Yes, Nature Boy Ric Flair. <laughs> I wish I got owned by something as pretty looking as that, but uh, not not the the evil men. Yes, that's true about FF1. You do have to play smart, uh, or you will die. You do have to... You do have to distribute your attacks correctly, and you have to pay attention to what you're doing in battle. There's not as much um, holding down A in this in this game. Actually, until you get to the bosses, then once you set up your... your, your buffs and defenses for the... defenses. Yes, from cockatrices. Cockatrice. I don't know what the plural of cockatrice. Cockatrices. NES version on Origins. Okay, great, great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit more for you. Yes, I know. Uh, R6 in the chat here is a big fan of the Origins version. Um has some things that, that are fixed up a little bit from the NES, and it has the doubled um, hit points on the Fiends. Oh, the blue D, that's right. Um, yeah, that's right, and I don't have the protection from that yet, so... Um, yeah. You know what, maybe I'm gonna try to... How many fasts do I have? Yeah, I'm gonna try to fast my fighter. Nope. I was going to see if I could fast my fighter and one-shot him. Yeah, and yeah, makes the giant's gloves finally work correctly. 
I knew that my that my master wasn't going to be able to survive that thunder attack, but I was hoping to hit my fighter with the haste spell and one shot him. But uh, wasn't to be. This should take him out. That's what I was hoping to do the first time, and I think that might have got him. I think 539. I think would have taken out the blue D. But that's okay because I've got I've got rays, so it is not a huge deal. It just means some time uh, squeaking with the with the uh, heal potions here. All right. I'm still gonna go to go down and grab the uh, the bane sword, even though this is uh. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to get out of all of these. So, if I understand it correctly, in this patch, the encounter rates, rather than going along a predetermined table, they actually are rolled at the level of the battle. They're actually rolled when you get into the battle, instead of going along a predetermined route, where it's, you know, at battle number 56 will be this group, and battle number 57 will be this group. And so that's why one of the things that Warmech in the NES version, I think he's the, like a 3 in 64 chance to show up, but the first time he shows up, oops, sorry, the first time he shows up is um, on like number 170 something, or 150 something maybe. Okay, so there we go. So Sandbag X has it better. Sorry about the feedback. I'll try to uh, keep it quiet. Oh yes, nice. This is this another change they made. This is the eye boss from earlier. This is the eye boss from earlier, which we all love. Yes, yeah, so this so this hack I I've, I've applied. There's an extra patch. So the the standard um, restored patch does not have the improved RNG. Um, that's an additional optional patch you can put on. So I did add that additional optional patch. Another pro ring, which I don't really need. Okay, so two warm X and three fights, and then two and five. Okay, so yeah, that is that's too bad that that warm X isn't more evenly distributed. That's really unfortunate. I feel. Okay, I'll take I'll take eyes um, attacking me and missing. I'll take that. Okay, and I think everything over there is money, so I'm going to skip that other side, because I think that's all money. I have a... just full disclosure, I have a map open on another screen. <laughs> so, I'm going to try not to go places that I, that I don't need to. I do want the ribbon and the adamant. Yeah, I'll take... Yeah, of course, they glared the, the one character who didn't have protection from it. I was going to try to get the uh, the ribbon to get him the protection from it. Um, there's my soft. Yeah, so there, there's long patches where you wouldn't see a war mech, which I, I saw that and I, I went, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Oh, they were topless. You know what? I, I totally forgot to watch. I totally forgot to look. Um... If I get in another battle, I need to look. I need, we mentioned that uh, the other day, that's right. I can't carry the diamond shield. I don't want the diamond shield, but I do want... I think there's a ribbon in here. Um, and I can get rid of, yeah, the extra pro ring. That's what I want. And he needs the, the ribbon... Yeah, and he can add that on to what he has. Excellent. And I want the the robes, the the white shirts, and that. Yeah, that's it's it's nice to see um to see what's in the chest, so you know what you've got, and you you know what uh, so you don't drop something valuable for something crappy that you don't want. Yeah, that is a very very nice improvement indeed. Yeah, now now I have protections on 
on everybody. I basically have my, my endgame equipment on everybody with my three ribbons now. Um, and I'm going to grab the white and black shirts. Because I think they're a little bit nicer than the, the bracelets. I believe they're nicer than the bracelets. Oops. I picked my Mithril Dagger instead of my Mage Staff. I should move the Mage Staff to the to the top of his inventory so I don't have to uh, make mistakes like that ever again. Yeah, Aegis Shield is, is Poison and Stone. Yeah, there we go. I, that's what, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that the game trolls you with. That's the kind of stuff that they pull on you, which is not great. Okay, yeah, so the, the, the bracelet has more defense. Yeah, and, and the robes are, are good for the uh, the casting. The Ice 2 and uh, the Invis 2. I uh, gotta say, I like those. Alright, let me uh, take a look at everything here. Yeah, I think that's what I am going to get rid of are those. And then I get one of each, and they should be what I want. All right, cool. Um, I think that's what I have there. So the the yeah, there's there's clothes somewhere. Um, yeah, is there something like that later on? Yeah, Ice Cave has the the clothes that are um, that are up above in the same room with the eye. Yeah, there's the the clothes up there. Um, and I want the adamant down here. Yeah, I it is guarded by that. Um, is it is it a fighter or it's a mage type enemy? Isn't it that's guarding that? I think it's a, a mage enemy, a mage grouping. a rare fight here, the the Grey Naga and the Air combo is a rare fight. Yeah. Whoops, I used the Mithril Dagger again. I need to finally move that over. Because yeah, th these guys are going to be evading. Yeah. I need to hit them with some magic. Um... Oh, rock! The rock goals were the were the rare fight. Okay, um, Mark. The, the tile in the ice cave, I believe, is spiked in front of the clothes. Um, I don't know if it's if it's this tile. Um, I don't know if this particular tile is spiked. Yeah, I keep using my my mithril dagger, which I need to stop doing. All right, there we go. There's my adamant, adamant tight. I guess you would call it. I'm, I think that's how they've translated it in later games. All right. Yeah, and there is there is some clothes in here. There are some clothes in here. Um. But there's actually nothing in the chests that I need. Looking at my looking at my map, there's nothing in these chests that I really want to grab because it's just gold. But there is there is some clothes in here going for me, so that's that's kind of fun. Yeah, I've seen some of the spiked encounters are runnable. Yes, I, I have I've seen into that. Oh yeah, the guys in the ice cave. I don't know about about those. Sandbag X might know about those guys. The elves in the ice cave. The 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 mages. The mage enemies. I think they're fighter enemies in here is how they are translated. And then 
and then mages on the ice cave, I think, is what uh, the enemies you run into. It's strange how they translated them. But yeah, there's nothing on this floor that uh, looks like I need. There's the katana on this floor, and there's, there's another, there's a, um, a pro cape. But I don't, I'm not really... Alright, left up, left up is the pattern in this room. Here's another of this combo. Alright. Oh, I should be using my black shirt instead of my gauntlets. Should be getting a little bit more power from that. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, Ark, and thank you, uh, everyone, for, for joining me. Oh, or write down, write down, okay, yeah. I guess you could go either way, huh? It does have the repeating thing. I, I always go up, left, up, left is my, um... Or left, up, left, up, however you do it. Oh, that was that's a rare fight on this floor? Nice. All right, so this is it. Let me, um, I'm gonna, gonna heal up and move my stuff around just a little bit. You have a good feeling about the next floor. I know I know what you guys want to see, but I don't want to see it. Trust me. I do not want to see it. I'm um, just making sure we're looking good on everybody. And um, I'm going to make sure we're healed. Every bit of hit points we can get. All right, here we go. Let's go, gang. Ooh. This is not a great one. Let's hope we can get out of here quickly. Alright. It's up to my white mage to uh, get out of here now. Wow. So, already not doing great. Wow, another one of these battles. Already not doing great. This is really nasty. This is really nasty. Alright, well, Sarath is coming on. Well, I'm almost finished, um, so I may actually pop over and watch Sarath when, uh, when I finish up. I'll be I'll be cutting it after Tiamat here if there is a Tiamat battle and I don't run into uh, Warmech and get wasted. There we go. So here's the battle I can handle. I can take this. All right. There's 22. All right, let's see, the airs, and I can fight these guys, I think. I can handle these guys. I can't, I don't know if these guys are runnable. I don't know if these are one of those random things that are unrunnable, but these guys will, they hit rather hard, but I think I can handle them. They're hard to uh, hit from my physical fighters. Well, thank you for believing in me that I can take on War Mech. I'm certainly not going to uh, to try. It's not the bad step pattern. Okay, so it, it looks like I'm I'm in the clear for War Mech. Am I sandbag X? Am I close to um to the War Mech step pattern? Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't know if I can run from air. I I didn't know if this was runnable or not. I do not know that. But um. Oh, you can run from air. Okay. Okay, so air is a, air is runnable. I mean, not that they're all that threatening. They're not really mixed with the uh, the mind flayers or anything. So I'm I'm okay fighting airs on their own.
but the, here's the battle I don't want to stick around for. This is one that I would much rather get out of. Good. Good, good, good. Ooh. Looks like there's some, um, some changed up graphics. Interesting. I don't, I can't remember what that is in the, uh, in the US version, but I don't think they are six-pointed stars. Alright. Let me make sure we are full health for the inevitable poison blast that's coming. Um, and I think I think we're okay. Yeah, so they're six pointed stars. I'm not sure what they uh, what they are in the in the NES version, in the US version. They I'm sure they're not six pointed stars. All right, we've come this far, but no further. So this is the Fiend um, theme music, of course. All right, so I'm going to use my giant gauntlets. Um, and I'll use my... Let's see, there's nothing I can really do in addition, so I'll just I'll use Invis 2. And I'll try to get haste my fighter. That was good timing on the haste, so I should get a nice attack here. But it looks like I'll have to buff up his um, his attack power. All right, that's a good first round. I'll take that. I'll actually take that every single day. All right, so let me. Um, Temper the fighter. Alright, so I'm actually glad Team S attacking. <laughs> Keep the emote spam going. Keep the, uh, the emote hype happening. Everyone's doing okay on hit points. Um, and looks like I can haste, haste him. How are we doing? 171. All right, good timing on the haste before the black belt goes. What's he gonna do now? 10 hits, 279. Nice, nice. I will take 10 hits, 279. That works for me. And here's the last altar. Whew. And again, we missed the little graphic there and we're out all right so that's uh that's gonna end the stream for me today i actually don't have time to do any of the uh additional errands here i actually don't have time to do the errands um i do have to run this is right at the very edge of the uh the time i had allotted for today so i do have to run um but i might i might knock out an hour or so tomorrow to uh, just do that run. So I'll shoot for about the same time or so tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to be, uh, yeah, probably about, probably about the same time tomorrow, I will pop uh, down and do the, uh, the final the final errands <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and the, the final dungeon. So uh, again, I appreciate you guys popping by. Um, Sandbag X, I'll have to check out those things that you mentioned. Uh, about those other variant runs. Um, and I, I may pop over to Seraph's stream, and I may, I may be around in the chat, but I'll be, I have to uh, do some work around the house here before um, later this afternoon, so I do have to drop it for now. But I appreciate everybody popping by. Thank you for the support um, and for the tips and letting me know I was safe from Warmech, and <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>